the BBVA Foundation has made known the results of the Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Ecology and Conservation Biology category for the 2009 edition. Award in the Ecology and Conservation Biology category to the following candidate, Professor Peter Reich of the Department of Forest Resource, University of Minnesota in the USA. Professor Reich has been rewarded for helping to predict how our forests will be like in the future in a warmer climate accompanied by biodiversity loss. Ability to predict terrestrial ecosystem responses to global environmental change. And this is very critical to understanding biodiversity losses, uh, understanding increases in, in carbon dioxide and nitrogen deposition, problems like ozone depletion, the large issue of climate warming. Reich is a pioneer in measuring how the loss in some species affects those that survive. His experiments seek to calculate carbon consumption exactly. This conservation biologist has discovered the future behavior of an ecosystem by studying a leaf. A number of years, the way in which all attributes or all aspects of these ecosystems change. And these kinds of studies are very important because we need to understand what's happening to our forest, grasslands, and agricultural systems as we change the environment. We need to know whether those systems will remain healthy and productive. Reich's work is important when warning resource managers and the political class that biodiversity loss presents adverse effects for a correct functioning of ecosystems. For example, when forests have reduced their ability in absorbing CO2. Reich is leader of an ongoing experiment which has been named BioCon, the only one conducted in open grassland and on a long-term basis. It explores ways in which plants respond to a more CO2-saturated atmosphere and an environment contaminated with nitrogen and biodiversity loss. The team hope that their results will give a more accurate picture of how much CO2 plants can absorb. This prize rewards the advances that Reich has achieved in the field of ecology. The awardee has appreciated the prize speaking from Minnesota. In the scientific area in which I work, the award is important because it recognizes that this kind of work, done not just by, by me but by an entire community of researchers and scientists around the world, is uh, important and is going to be very relevant to how we tr solve uh, the world's problems in the future. The scientist is author of over 300 specialized scientific articles and has been cited by other authors on more than 12,000 occasions. Since 2003, he has figured among most frequently cited ecological and environmental scientists in the world.